Hi everyone and welcome back. It seems ages since I filmed a tutorial, especially like a celebrity kind of film inspired one as well. But I've been super busy with my final exams um, and school and everything, but I finally finished. So I have much more time to film videos for you. But as the title suggests, today is going to be Daisy Buchanan's Make It Look from The Great Gatsby. It's a super elegant and pretty look and easy to achieve as well. So let's get on with the tutorial. So Daisy has a really flawless complexion and I've already prepped my skin with some moisturiser. I'm now going to go in with some foundation. This is L'Oreal's Infallible in the shade Porcelain. So we want to leave our um, bronzers and everything away. We're going for a really kind of peaches and cream complexion. So to get a fuller coverage, I'm just using, this is a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm just using kind of the stippling motion, just pressing it into the skin. This is going to give you a much higher coverage than if you're just kind of sweeping it across your face. This is a great makeup for people that have um, naturally pale skin like I do, but if you don't, then don't go too pale with your foundation, just go uh, maybe for like a winter shade that you wear in the winter if you really want to go for Daisy's look. So once I've pressed the colour um, into my skin, I'm just kind of using circular motions to buff it out so that we get that kind of airbrushed finish and that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Then I'm going to go in with a concealer. This is Collection 2000's um, Last Imperfection Concealer in Fair, just where I need a bit more coverage and to hide any redness because we really want the kind of flawless look. And just using a, this is actually an eye contour brush, just to kind of buff that out. So we really want to disturb the foundation underneath because that kind of defeats the object of trying to get more coverage if we wipe all away. Next we're going to powder the skin because Daisy has a matte look, it's not dewy or anything like that. So I'm going to use Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and this is just in translucent and a powder brush. And I'm going to focus this mainly down the T-zone under the eyes because I've got concealer there. And I'm just going to highlight in very select places. So this is Max Minimalized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I'm just going to take a blush brush. I'm just going to put a very tiny amount on and just go along the tops of my cheekbones. I'm also going to put a tiny bit just under the brow bone. Onto blusher and you want to go for a classic rosy pink colour, so this is the one I'm using. And I'm just going to pop a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks, so just smile and pop it right here. And you really want to blend this out so that it looks really natural. Onto the eyes, so I'm going to start with the brows, and Daisy obviously has blonde hair, so her hair is much fairer than mine. So I'm just going to go with a slightly lighter brow um, shadow than I would normally, just on an angled brush. And they're not overly filled in, so you don't want to go for um, too thick here. But they are quite elongated at the end, so I'm just going to come down a little bit further than my brows naturally do. I don't want to go crazy, but just extend them a little bit if yours come a little bit shorter than hers do. Next I'm going to prime my lids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. This will just make your eyeshadow um, stop from creasing and also make the colours a little bit more vibrant. Now Daisy wears slightly different eye makeup depending on which point of the movie um, she's in. But I'm just going to go with a kind of um, classic look that she wears throughout and it's just sort of variations of it. So I'm going to start with um, this matte grey colour called Desperation from the Vice palette here. And I really want to stick with matte colours if you can. It doesn't matter too much if you only have sparkly ones but matte's best. I'm just going to press this onto the lid, just leaving the very inner corner bit clear. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush like this one here, and I'm just going to use circular motions to really blend this out, because we want it to look really soft. It's really worth spending some time on the step to get it just right, because we don't want to go too crazy, just a slight smoky eye. So I just use circular motions back and forth over the lid. 
until you get the look you want. Next I'm going to take a light matte shade, this is Anonymous here. And I'm just going to pop that onto the inner part of the eye, just to brighten it up a little bit. Onto the liner, and I'm going to use a gel liner from Maybelline in black, although you could use a liquid liner if you prefer. And we want to go for quite a bold line here, with a kind of flick at the end. So take your time with this step, so you don't get it wrong. I'm just going to start in the middle of the eye, that's the way I prefer to do it. And just come up to the natural end of your eye. Okay then to get the flick you just want to follow the natural um, line that your bottom lash would follow up here. So I like using an angled brush for this and just line it up with where that will go and just going to press it in. And then connect it back up to the rest of your liner. I'm going to leave the bottom lashes I'm going to leave the bottom lash line completely clear. I'm just going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to apply some mascara to the top lashes only. So you could use some false lashes if you like, but I'm just going to use um, Maybelline the Falsies Mascara. I find that this gets a really nice, kind of fluttery, long effect to the lashes like daisies have. Finally onto the lips, and a lot of the characters had kind of um, rosy wine colour lips, but daisies were predominantly a light um, pinky nude colour, so that's what I'm going to go for. And this is um, number 7 lip pencil in nude, so I'm just going to line them first. And you really want to emphasise your cupid's bow, which is this bit here because that was a thing for the 20s. And I'm just going to go over that with a lipstick and this is a Kate Moss one in 08. And it's just this colour here. Just a nice matte lip. So this is the finished Daisy B Can look from The Great Gatsby. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, I really love this look. I think it's super pretty and easy to wear. As ever, I'd love it if you gave this video a like, if you enjoyed it, and also left me a comment um, letting me know what you thought and if you've seen the movie. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, then definitely click the button because I'll be uploading lots more videos now that I have more time. And if you want to know my full thoughts on The Great Gatsby movie and more details about this look, then check out my blog and the link will be in the description bar below because I've done a full review of the movie and more details on the makeup and everything. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye! Because what can happen is that you apply your makeup and it looks really nice, but when you look at your photographs the next day, maybe on Facebook, you realise that your face has gone kind of really pale and white. And what happens is the flash of the camera kind of reacts with your makeup. And